Today we've seen over 500 common dolphins, at least a dozen fin whales, and finished off with a couple of humpbacks. And what's fantastic about a day like this is that anyone can come and do it. We're just off the south coast of Ireland now, just a few miles off the coast. It's not expensive, and Colin Barnes is one of the best whale guides you'll ever find. He really knows what he's doing, he doesn't disturb the animals, and if anyone can find them, he can. And a sunset. Sure, what more do you want? Over the next few weeks, we were getting reports of lots more whale activity. But our, our best estimate is that we have a minimum of 15 fin whales, uh, possibly upwards of 20 fin whales here at the moment. And it's remarkable because they, they have stayed absolutely in the same spot. They really haven't moved a more than a few kilometres in the last two weeks. We have a minimum of three humpback quails, possibly more. Joining them on board is Eugene McEwen. We have Eugene here today um, doing acoustic recording of these animals. We have so little knowledge about the noises they make. It's great to have some expertise here looking into that aspect of whales. And the good news is, they're humpbacks. Just what the crew were hoping to come across today. And then something extraordinary happened. The whale started singing. Make an interesting ring turn. <laughs> As far as we know, it's mostly the males that call. Just like birdsong, to me it sort of signals that romance is in the air, but no one is really sure of its function. The song itself probably broadcasts information about the individual singer, but what information and to whom it's been communicated is largely unknown. A bit like the noises they use for dinosaurs on Jurassic that, Park. That, that, that's things, it. it. I mean, it's dinosaur noises. Um, and they're about the same size of creature, you know. 